Hey y'all, welcome to my Alabama Gulf Coast Butterfly Garden. Thank y'all so much for watching. My name's Rachel and I was going to show you around my garden today. Um, it is uh, February 13th and um, things are shockingly just cut down and it's empty and everything's kind of bland. But I thought maybe I would show y'all some videos that I took last year around this time. And uh, so you can see the difference between um, one of them was filmed February 20th and now. So I'm going to walk the same path that I walked in the video that I'm going to add next. And I'm going to show you just kind of the difference. Um, things have been, you know, cut down. I threw some uh, forget-me-not seeds over here, so I'm hoping that those will come up. But um, this is what things look like now. I've cut down a bunch of the stuff that was um, frostbitten, cut back the hydrangeas, cut back mm, so many things. I'm guessing I'm going to turn this spot right here into the sunflower field because sunflowers tend to want to grow here since the I feed the birds sunflowers so oh I do want to show y'all the nasturtium I've got some nasturtium blooms but let's come down here have y'all ever tried nasturtium blooms they're very peppery um they're they are edible look how lovely they are and these are the ones that are supposed to uh, climb so I'm hoping they will so see this nasturtium isn't it pretty um, it's, it is edible. Just chew it up. It's got a little um, sweetness to it, but then it's got a kick. Um, peppery. Mm. So this area is where I want to put in raised beds for vegetables. So this this part, part right here is going to be the vegetable garden. And then I may grow vegetables in this grassy area, but maybe not. Maybe just um, flowers. And then I'm going to put roses over this and uh, I've got several different climbing roses that are going to go there and then about midway to in the middle of the backyard right here I want to put a fountain I'm gonna have a path going around it and then we're gonna fence right here uh, all the way down there so we can have some privacy and then there's gonna be a bench right here where you can you know sit down and enjoy the garden and then uh, over here, I'm going to put gravel in this spot right here. Um, and then I'm going to have a bistro table and chairs. Now, this is where I was standing when we were dumping the dirt into the backyard, somewhere right here. So I'm going to show you that video. The next video that I'm going to share with you is of the backyard in June last year. I had dahlias in this circle bed right here, and uh, I'm probably not going to plant any this year. But um, all this dirt that's in these beds came from Magnolia Landfill in um, Baldwin County. You can buy a dump, uh, a bucket full of uh, stuff. It's enough to fill a um, pickup truck and it's about $26 they only allow you to get one per day and uh, I used that to make all these beds with uh, so that I didn't have to dig I just dumped it you know right on the grass and you'll be able to see where the grass was The next video I'm going to share is what the garden looked like 
in late May of last year at this very spot and going through here so you can kind of get an idea of what it is going to look like again. Also, I want to show you the orange trees in blossom. Is that not gorgeous? And it smells incredible. The lemon tree is also in blossom. And aren't the blossoms so pretty? They've got this little pink ballet slipper looking look to them. And uh, they really do smell so magical. I found this monarch uh, wing on the ground. And uh, it reminded me that we probably have some praying mantises about right now and I have released four butterflies so this is probably one of them and I'm going to show y'all a uh, a praying mantis egg case so you'll know what it looks like so you won't destroy it whenever you see one okay this is a praying mantis egg case and it is about the size of maybe a nickel I'm just going to kind of put my finger there so you can see uh, do not destroy that if you see one of those because you're going to want praying mantis in your garden Y'all, it's a miracle. One of the caterpillars was not, didn't have a, pet, a parasite in it, and now we've got a gorgeous butterfly. Let's see if it'll step up onto my finger. Um, it is, it probably came out of the chrysalis yesterday, and I just noticed it, noticed it this morning. I'm going to release it. Here's what they do when you release a, oh, there it goes, there it goes, oh, super high in the sky. Probably can't see it, it's way up there. When their wings are dry, monarch butterflies, when you release them, they will fly straight up into the air and they'll go and land in a tall tree and just sit there and I guess get their bearings. So <clears throat> that's usually what happens when I release them after their wings have completely dried. And while we're out here, I will show you a monarch chrysalis that's about to emerge. This one will probably emerge today. You see how you can see the wings through the chrysalis? As they get closer to emerging, um, the, I guess I, I wouldn't call it a shell, I don't really know what I would call it, but that outside seems to get thinner and thinner and uh, the darker it becomes when there's going to be an actual butterfly. Now if your chrysalis turns dark like these, that means they have a parasite in them.